Hi, I'm Jonathan Ayos with Petrie Aerial Applications. And I'm Logan Petrie with Petrie Aerial Applications. So my SAE involves my business called Petrie Aerial Application, where we spray different product over crops using drones. What we do is we spread fungicide and insecticide over corn and beans in the summer. Uh, we have two drones, uh, and they're both T30 models. So this year we managed to cover 2,500, and last year it was about the same. So a typical day for us would be getting up pretty early, going out to the field, getting our product mixed, and they'll give us very specific key metrics that they'd like in their product. Then we get the drones out, get everything set up. I'll go up top of our trailer, I'll get my controller out, I'll get the route open, and then it'll get all set. My name's Wade Petrie. I live here in Tipton, Missouri. I'm actually Logan Petrie's dad. My primary role in uh, Logan's SAE project is probably just support, really, more than anything. When we when we started the business, I, I was I was the financial backing behind it to help him get going. I've got a I, I do some small row crop. I've got some cattle. And uh, when Logan was coming up with ideas for an SAE project, we really got to put our heads together. And I said, you know, let's do something kind of out of the box. And did a little research and uh, seen some ads on the internet, really, for spray drones. So we talked about it and we decided that, hey, you know what, this might be a neat thing to do. So we, we kind of just jumped, jumped in wholeheartedly. My name is Amanda Twinner. I am Logan and Jonathan's agricultural education instructor. I've been teaching five years, but this is my first year teaching at Tipton. This is my first experience with an SAE project, um, especially to this caliber. And it's been really, really cool experience to see that. Um, one of the things that stood out to me was the fact that Logan walked me through uh, from the first to the very last steps of what his project was, the story behind his project, and really what it looked like, you know, in the scope of how big the project was, where all he sprays, um, and everything that he does with so on a bigger project, right here would be where our generators lie. We have our generators so we can charge our battery so our drones can run all day. Next we have our two totes. One tote holds water and then the other will hold our chemical product. Before we start, we'll have a set list of how much product needs to go in there and the exact mathematical equation of what products need to go in there at what quantity. And we'll use that with our hose here to fill up our drone and that will get keep us going really fast. Then next, we have our battery compartment here. We keep our batteries nice and even, so then it's very easier for my dad to come grab them and go, so we can keep going at a nice rate. Then we have our staircase, which will lead up to our higher level. And up at this higher level, I have my seat, where I'll be able to watch over our field and be able to watch over where I need to look and look at the drone while it's going. The first year we did it, we did it off of a utility trailer, a tandem axle utility trailer. We didn't have a flight deck or anything. Kind of midway through the growing season, through that fungicide and insecticide window, and we knew going into our second season we had to do something a little bit different than that. So that's when I uh, kind of got a hold of Jonathan. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a jack of all trades. He, he's a good welder. He's a good. He can, he can kind of see a, a project that I wanted. And, and he knew exactly what I was wanting to do and how to fulfill what, I, what my vision was on that. And so that's when we brought Jonathan in. Jonathan uh, helped build the trailer, so we have a flight deck now for our second season. We had a flight deck. So me and him came with the idea to use an existing trailer we had. We built a top that sets on it. We had little tanks and stuff in the bottom to fill up with. And we can set up top and fly and watch drones as they go across the field. You gotta help out senior citizens. You know. I'm yeah, exactly. <laughs> So for Jonathan, um, I wasn't so much involved with the building of the trailer. My husband and I actually teach agriculture together, and so my husband runs the shop. And I know that Jason is his name. I know Jason worked with Jonathan hand in hand um, and letting him have some shop time to work on that project as well. And whenever he took it to the state fair, I know my husband was very proud of how that ended up turning out. Um, I think the most challenging thing is whenever you have to get a problem done really fast, it can be very stressful on me and my dad. We've just learned uh, how to manage our stress and planned a lot more ahead now than forgetting something and having to plan it last minute. Um, I really enjoy getting a problem done that someone might have 
it feels very good to help someone and, and it definitely feels very rewarding. I've known Logan for a lot longer than just one year as his ag teacher. We've lived in Tipton for a while. Um, and with that being said, I think Logan is a wonderful leader and a wonderful communicator. And with this role, I think it's something that's going to continue to, to just prosper. Um, and he's grown as a business person as well as a communicator um, and just outside of that farm experience too. All of those things are very important whenever we look at something like this. But I also would say Logan is um, 16 years old. And so learning the chemistry um, and learning how to apply these products is pretty tough as well. And so not only that, but the science behind flying drones too. And so I was very, very impressed that the data that he knew and was able to collect how to fly those, um, that's something not a lot of students know. And he's overcome that challenge. And I think that that's incredible. You know, I, I like where we're going with what we're doing with the drone business. And I can really see this thing expanding. I'd like him to get a few more drones. I'd like to see him hire some pilots in the future. What would you tell other FFA students who are considering this as an SAE project? Um, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of dedication, it's also a lot of money. So if you really want to do it, just make sure you want to put your heart into it instead of just doing it halfway. Man, I would say just dream big. Um, and in my role, I'm going to be there to help support them and make that happen. Um, you know, I'm more on the side of teaching them how to keep records and some of the opportunities that are out there. And in my position, I'm really, um, I strive to place students with individuals in our community who are in the industry. And so it's cool to me that we now have a student who's doing this who might one day be able to fill a role for Logan. So I think it'd be really cool as we look at growth for Logan's SAE to think about him employing some of our students um, and starting their SAE in that way. If your child's interested in it, make sure that, that, that you support them. Make sure that, that you're willing to go out there with them and, and be that support role that you need to be for them. And don't be afraid to let them follow their dreams and, and, and do something great with it.